Namaskaram, Yana Liza. Learn Malayalam with Elikurti Leka Suagadam. If you're looking for a place to help you learn Malayalam, you've come to the right channel. Today, we're going to be working on pronouncing the different R sounds in Malayalam, including the infamous R. It's not as hard as it looks, I promise. So let's jump right in. Let's start with Ra. Ra. So this is made in the front of the mouth with your tongue just behind your teeth. It's not as hard as the American Ra. It's a bit softer. Ra, ra. So let's practice. Ra, ra, ri, ri, ru, ru, r, ro, ro, re, re, rai, rao, ram, ra. Okay. So again, this is more similar to how we're used to saying R, but it's not as hard. We don't emphasize it. Americans tend to pronounce the R sound very hard as do the Irish. So it's sometimes overdone. And in this one, it's softer. It's softer. So we have words like Ratri for night, Namaskaram, Ar, and Ravile. So these are some examples of the words. Now we have the R. And this is more similar to the Spanish or Arabic R. It's like a, almost a rolling trilled R. So it's a hard R sound. Let's go together. R, 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 So it's more R. It has that vibration going through it. I know the slide looks like this person has bad breath, but it's supposed to represent a rippling sound. So we have words like Rava, Ari, Ara, and Para Yuga. Ra. Now this one also has a Chilu. A Chilu is a letter that usually comes at the end of a word and it is just the consonant sound. There is no vowel attached. So with a Chandrakala, Ra becomes more like R, but this one is just R, R. So for example, Abar, Abar, Achar, Achar, Payar, Payar, and Orma. So sometimes it does come in the middle like this, Orma, but generally it comes at the end. So that is a Chilu, it has a R sound. Now, for the one that everyone asks about and what you're waiting for, it's ra. Ra. Now, I want you to think about how Americans say ra. We say red, rough, rider. Our tongue is already kind of in that position. It's slightly back and not quite touching the roof of our mouth. So extend that tongue back. Ra. 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 Remember, it doesn't quite touch the roof of your mouth. So let's try it together. Ra, ra, ri, ri, ru, ru, r, ro, ro, re, re, rai, ra, rum, ra, ra, ra. It's all right, just keep trying. So here's some words Mara, Param, Bare, and Kari Guga. So now, of course, we have to listen and choose. Listen carefully and tell me what you hear. Number one, ara, ara. Number two, mar, mar. Number three, param, param. Number four, para yuga, para yuga. Number five, kari kuga, kari kuga. How did you do? I'll read all of them to you now. Number one, ara, ara, ara. Number two, marit, marit, marit. Number three, param, param, param. Param, param, param. Number four, para yuga, para yuga, para yuga. Para yuga, para yuga, para yuga. Number five, karikuga, karikuga, karikuga. Karikuga, karikuga, karikuga. Okay. 
All right, how did you do? Remember, you can always go back and check the slides again, listen again, and keep practicing. In the meantime, be sure to join my Discord server. We have over 2,000 members, both learners and helpers alike, and you can access all my slides and materials for free. Check out the link below for slides for this lesson. And as always, if you have any suggestions, comments, or feedback, let me know. Until next time, apoy lampar ne